There's been a lot of fascinating research on the cicadas themselves and their bizarre and unusual life history. They're some of the longest lived insects known on the planet, for example. Um, but what's actually much less known is what kinds of ecological impacts that they produce when they periodically emerge. So our, our primary question um, was if birds are changing their diets to feed on this abundant food item, what effects might that diet shift have for the local forest community? So the cicadas create this whole all-you-can-eat buffet is how we've been referring to it. Um, this whole all-you-can-eat buffet for the birds and for many other organisms as well. And with all that really delicious and nutritious food available, the birds all, many of the birds that we observed switched from their normal diet of caterpillars to eating cicadas. And without the birds eating the caterpillars, those caterpillar populations exploded. And the caterpillars ended up chewing up the trees a lot more than normal. So the trees had a lot more uh, caterpillar bites and damage than they normally would. Really, we think that the cicadas are leaving a legacy of ecological impacts on the landscapes that can persist for sometimes very short amounts of time, like what happened with our caterpillars, to very long amounts of time, depending upon the pathways of interactions that we study. And we really are just at the tip of the iceberg in terms of documenting the complex um, species impacts that the cicada emergence have on this ecosystem. So I think that our findings really show how interconnected these organisms are in our ecosystems. You know, if you change the behavior of one or the population of one, the effects ripple through the ecosystem in really interesting and surprising ways. And it's important to remember that as we're impacting the ecosystem in different ways through climate change, uh, through development of natural areas, through the introduction of invasive species and, and many other things, even effects that seem like they might be very small can have really surprising and big impacts on organisms that you might not have imagined were connected, but actually are. There's been a decades long pattern of what's referred to as bird decline. So we've seen a wholesale shift or decline in the densities of bird populations throughout North America over the last several decades. So one way to interpret the results of our study is that um, by demonstrating what happens when birds activity or regulatory activity is disrupted, which happened during the cicada emergence, we might be getting a preview or a glimpse of what a world with fewer birds might look like. And that would include increased damage to both forestry important and agricultural crops that could affect productivity as well as um, let things like yield of crops and things like that. So um, I think it's a not yet another reason why we need to concentrate efforts at conserving birds because we will be preserving not only birds for people that like to hear them and watch them, but we will also be preserving the important and essential ecosystem service that they provide in these ecosystems.